You've endorsed uh, President Biden's re-election. He hasn't announced yet, uh, but we expect he will. Uh, does any of this uh, complicate his efforts to, to mount a re-election campaign and make a, a stark contrast with Donald Trump? Uh, I think that there are so many stark contrasts with Donald Trump uh, on policy. For example, the idea that you could sell, my, my, my legislation says there can be no more than eight bullets in a round, okay? There can be no more than eight bullets in a round, okay? On decency. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a on uh, a devotion to the truth. This day, 30 years ago, Nelson Mandela walked out of prison and entered into discussions about apartheid. I had the great honor of meeting him. I had the great honor of being arrested with our UN ambassador on the streets of Soweto trying to get to see him on Robbins Island. When I said okay. arrested, I meant I was not able to, I was not able to move. Cops, upper counters would not let me go with them, made me stay where I was. I guess I, I wasn't arrested, I was stopped. Uh, on his handling of foreign policy. I stand squarely behind my decision. After 20 years, I've learned the hard way that there was never a good time to withdraw U.S. forces. Trying to flee the country in what can only be described as a chaotic exodus. Now, people are literally clinging on to U.S. military aircraft. So you don't think this could have been handled, this actually could have been handled better in any way? No mistakes? No. So there are lots of sharp contrasts for Joe Biden in the next election. I don't want you to lie. I explained this. I have to lie. Not a joke. America is back.